Hello. Today I'm going to recite a very beautiful, evocative and dense poem named Come, Let Us Rebel by Sananta Tati. Uh, it has been taken from this book. It's a bunch of poems, translated ones. Uh, the poems are translated from SMS to English by Dibhujuti Sharma. Uh, before I take up the poem, let me read few sentences by Humen Borgohai sir on the corpus of writing of Sananta Tati, like Borgohai sir's viewpoints or his perspectives regarding the poems of Sananta Tati. And these lines have really captured the personality of Sananta Tati, he being a poet, he being a rebel, he being a connoisseur or he being a radical person who has different kinds of opinion about life or different kinds of creative expressions that really unsettle us or provoke us to think differently. So these are sentences on Sananta Tati by Humen Burgohai sir. Sananta Tati is a poet of love. The love that embraces all beings. Sananta Tati is a poet of protest. His protest makes life eternally meaningful. Sananta Tati is a poet of bright optimism, the source of which is the tireless struggle for people's rights. Now, let me recite this poem by Sananta Tati. Come, let us rebel. Come, let us rebel. In the enveloping dark hours, gash anger with her teeth. Tearing this golden web with nails, step out of this attacking sorrow. Let us touch the face of the child singed in fire. Restore the flow of the young river towards the dry fields of summer. Come, let us stroll in the air of war. Breaking forth the soil of a lifelong pain, the young river gradually changes its course. Slowly in upheaval, inundates the banks, breaks the pride of sorrows. Come, let us revel in the enveloping dark hours, kiss death with the hope for the freedom of the people, tearing the golden web, stepping out of the suffering. Thank you.